Hi everyone. Today I'd like to show you how to tune an ODBC connection to the Oracle database. The connection will be used by SQL Wizard to perform the conversion directly from the database. First of all, you need to make sure that the appropriate driver is installed on your computer. If there is none, you should install the appropriate driver before starting the conversion. First, download the driver version from the following link. The link can be found in the video description. Once you have downloaded the Oracle database client, unzip the package and run the setup file as an administrator. Ensure that the Use Windows Build an Account Radio button is selected. Click the Next button and navigate through all the pages of the installer. Specify the installation location. Click Next, Yes and go through the prerequisite checks and summary steps. Start the installation by clicking the Install button. Once the installation is complete, close the installer. Next, we need to create a TNS service name. Open Oracle Net Manager. Select the service naming item. and click the plus icon to add a net service name. In the wizard that opens, enter the name for the new TNS service name. Select the network protocol. Indicate the server name and port number. Next, enter the service name of your database. Click the test button to test the connection. Configure the credentials and click test. I see that the connection test was successful. Close Oracle Net Manager, saving the configuration. Next, we need to configure the ODBC connection in the ODBC Data Source Administrator. On the Start page, type ODBC Data Sources to open the ODBC Data Source Administrator. The ODBC Data Sources desktop app should appear as a choice. Go to the System DSN tab and create a new data source by clicking the Add button. Select the Oracle in Aura Client ODBC driver and close the window by clicking Finish. In the wizard that opens, configure the name for the ODBC connection, indicate the TNS service name, and set the user ID. Click the Test Connection button. In the window that opens, configure the credentials and click OK. If the connection is successful, close the window and verify that the newly created ODBC connection is displayed in the list. We have completed the setup of the ODBC connection to the Oracle database and can now migrate it to a new database management system. You can find out more about database migration with SQL Waste Wizard or get a free demo license for the iSpire tools by following the links in the description. Thanks for watching.